Oh, thanks, yeah. Natalie. Yeah, thanks. Al is off today. We've got Dylan in with the check of the weather. Yeah, we've had some wild hail across several parts of the country. In Prescott, Arizona, look at this. It looks like snow on the ground. We had crazy thunderstorms out there yesterday. We've had it the day before. We've seen dust storms, and now we're seeing pretty much the opposite of that with hail really slowing traffic down on the roads. Now, in Minneapolis, St. Paul, that area had two rounds of hail last night, one right during rush hour and then one a little bit later in the evening. That also slowed down traffic uh, near Blaine. Minnesota as well. So chunks of ice just falling from the ground with some of these storms. Now we have a series of cold fronts that'll move through uh, the Midwest and also the East Coast today. So you'll see some sun, you'll feel the humidity, you'll see the sun heat up the ground and then we'll see these thunderstorms pop up. So it's that situation where you need to keep an eye to the sky because this entire area in yellow here, which includes 60 million people, you could see those pop up thunderstorms. Again, hail is a big threat, but also keep in mind torrential downpours and dangerous cloud to ground. Lightning is a possibility too. Right along the coast, we'll drop down into the mid 80s, but you go inland just a bit. Boise will be close to a record at 103 degrees today. Las Vegas is five degrees above average. Palm Springs at 109. Phoenix at 109 today. We are looking for the temperatures to drop off a little bit tomorrow, down into the mid 80s and lower 90s. But then as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, they're right back up to 102 in Boise, 103 on Thursday. We're staying warm through Salt Lake City, too. Temperatures in the lower 100s to upper 90s. Elsewhere across the country, we do have a couple of areas through the upper Midwest and the Ohio River Valley where we could see some stronger storms this afternoon.